Animal crawl patterns here, probably the hardest routine in the blue section, and our exercise model, Sammy, is wearing blue. Say hi, Sammy. And we have Abby, and Abby is going to help uh, with our prop department here, and Abby is Sammy's sister, folks, so we need to know that. Okay, so this is Squish the Bunny, the first exercise. So, Sammy's going to lift up lumbar, we're going to have a bunny go in there, and come on down. And right away, all you stuffed animal active rights activists out there, I, I apologize. We're going to squish this bunny. So, Sammy, the tail goes on the floor. That bunny gets squished. Oh, that bunny is squished. Look at that right ear of it. Poor thing. Okay, so Sammy is going to do a posterior pelvic tilt and push her lumbar into the bunny. And release that, Sammy. And Sammy, get your hand off your abs so we can see him work. Here we go. And let's do it again. And release that. And we notice Sammy's kind of picking up her tail, isn't she? Should we want to keep that tail on the floor and squish the bunny again? No, keep the, your buttocks on the floor and squish the bunny. That's it. That's all it is, folks. Now see your abs contract. Look at that. And release out of that. Squish the bunny again. Ow! Ooh! Ee! Ee! Poor bunny's squealing. Okay, come out of it. Okay, Sammy, now squish the bunny. Hold it. And keep on breathing. Close the flow of urine off in midstream. It sounds weird, but it's a Kegel maneuver, and it's activating her pelvic floor. Release it. Okay? Do it again. Squish the bunny. Close the flow of urine off in midstream. We got it. Don't contract the buttocks. Can you do that? Ooh, it's hard. Don't contract the buttocks. So that's pelvic floor activation, folks. Release. So that's core and pelvic floor activation. Let's squish that bunny one more time. Boom. That poor rabbit. Oh, my goodness. Look how strong Sammy's abs are. And there we have it, folks. Squish the bunny. Thank you. You're welcome. Glute jellyfish to glute rock lobster. Sammy has her paws down. And she's in a plank position on her elbows. And her sister, Abby, is going to punch her in the jellyfish glutes. And it ought to, so she hasn't contracted anything yet. And they're just like jellyfish, folks. They're just like jellyfish. Okay. Abby, they're jellyfish? They're jellyfish. All right, Sammy. Rock lobster. Hard as you can. She's charging her thighs. She's charging her core. Everything she's got, she's charging. Keep on. And it's eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. How are the glutes, Abs? Better. Better. Okay. Relax, Sammy. A little out of breath, huh? Love it. Yeah. Okay, yeah, so there's a lot going on here. You're contracting every muscle in the body, folks. Who wants to see Sammy do it again? Yep, we all do. Here we go, Sammy. Pause down. Come on up. Right away. Glute, rock, lobster. Abs is verifying that her sister has oh. buns of steel. <laughs> Crack nuts back there. I don't know. Something. Good abs. She's got it. Okay, that's it, folks. And rest. Okay, folks, this is glute jellyfish to glute rock lobster with partner bonus footage here. So we're going to take advantage of having uh, Abby here with Sammy. So come on up, Sammy. Pause down. Uh, Abby's going to check. Are we have rock lobster? Good. Okay. He's going to push the hips. She's going to push a couple times, maybe a couple times. There you go. No, this way. This way, abs. Come right. Oh, shoulder. Shoulder. Push a couple times. Oh, hips. You forgot the hips. Push her hips. Now her shoulder a couple times. Yeah, down her shoulders. Transverse. Cross the shoulder. Transverse across the hip. Quicker. Quick, 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 quick. Agility. Agility. Quick. Ab, quick, quick. How you doing here, Sammy? Good. Resisting it. Resisting it. You might get a rug burn on your elbows. Who cares? Come on around, the abs. Come on around. Oh, those are light little pushes. Oh, you can do whatever. Yeah, like make her work, make her work. Oh, there we go. And she just collapsed. I didn't say stop, but that's good. <laughs> yeah, that's enough, right? Yeah. Caterpillars, one of my favorite warm up exercises. So, Sammy's going to use grips. You don't have to have the grips, but it makes it easier because it puts you a little bit higher off the ground when she is now going to go into her plank. She's going to walk on out into a nice, good, hard, solid plank. 
and she has good core activation and she's got that nice locked in lumbar. Now like a little caterpillar with little teeny feet, she's just gonna walk with her ankles and her tiptoes and she's gonna fold herself in half and that's really gonna stretch out that posterior kinetic chain, that superficial back line and now she's gonna walk out again to another good hard plank and she's really getting not a good shoulder work in here and she's gonna tiptoe in again. So we're working on those shoulder stabilizer muscles, those dynamic stabilizers, the rotator cuffs, the big prime movers are working, everything's working. She's gonna fold herself in half again. Those hams are getting stretched, the glutes, the lower back. And now she's just gonna stand up and she's gonna turn around and she's gonna come back for us. So we say about eight's our number, but you know, whatever. If you can do more or less, if these are very challenging, maybe just do four. If you're more in shape, go for a full eight. And if you're really in shape, just keep on going. So she's gonna tiptoe in again. And one more, Sammy, you probably make it without hitting your head into the wall. So you can see just in a fairly small place in a hotel room, in your living room, you can do these things, okay? Now she's gonna stand up, turn around. Now she's gonna ditch those grips. So if you don't have grips, you don't need them. But now she's gonna be a little lower to the ground now. And she may have to work just a little bit harder to fold herself in half. And you might have to bend the knees a little bit to get down there first, but she's pretty flexible. So go ahead, Sammy, she's gonna to tiptoe in half. And she's just gonna be a little caterpillar for us and follow along. So again, you don't have to have the grips, but they kinda of feel better on the wrist though, but it's okay. She can walk on out here. Yeah, she's going a little out of frame and that's okay, but she's gonna to tiptoe in half and she's gonna stand up and turn around and follow along. And she's gonna do three more back. And by now you should be getting a little bit huffy. It's getting a little metabolic now. So we're getting a really good full body dynamic warm up. A lot of athletes are really tight in that back glute area. So this is real nice to get that warmed up. And she's gonna to tiptoe in and one more for us. There's her plank. There's her tiptoe. And there she is. Great job, Sammy. Thank you. <laughs>
inchworm with Sammy. You can do it in a stationary place. If you're really short on space and room, you can do it right from a stationary position. And I think it was one more, Sammy. Is that we got it? Here we go. Beautiful. And there we go. Thanks, Sammy. 45 degree dolphins. Let's just show a normal dolphin first, just maybe a little bit of a warm up here. So Sammy's gonna go into an inverted V. Boy, we've seen that pattern, haven't we? And she's gonna look at her toes and then she's coming back down into a nice plank. And then she's gonna do that again. So these are just straight ahead dolphins. These are really hitting that rectus abdominis, that eight pack muscle you have. And you can see the crown of her head goes towards uh, the floor and she's looking at her toes and her shoulders are just articulating nicely as her head kind of flows through there. And so now she's gonna go into a plank. Now she's gonna drop her right hip. Her left hip is open to us. She, look at her feet, they're 45 degrees. So here we go, Sammy, let's do eight, that's our number. She's gonna go pike up. Notice how she stayed over, she's not coming back to center, she stays over there with that right hip drop and that left hip up. It's that important, you have to stay, stayed over and your feet have to be at 45 degrees. And she's just piking away at this kind of diagonal pike and guess what's working is those obliques on that downside, on that right hip side, those, are, those obliques are working. So again, we're going for eight, and we hope that she's counting. Just go along with Sammy here. And I guess if she keeps on going, you keep on going. One more, there we go. Now she's gonna come through center. You might wanna rest, but she's not. She's gonna drop that left hip Right hip is open to that far wall, and here she goes. She's going to do her eight. See those feet? They're over to 45. Her body, her hips are like at a 45. And she's getting really nice, high inverted V contractions there. Really working those beautiful obliques on that left side of her body now. And while I'm yapping away, I'm hoping that she's counting. So again, we're gonna do eight. And these are 45 degree dolphins. They look great, Sammy. And now we're done. You can rest. Good job. This is a bonus feature, not in the book. Uh, before we do a very challenging starfish uh, side plank, uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do regressed versions and Sammy's gonna walk us through these. So um, if you're not strong enough for the starfish uh, side plank, uh, do these first. And we're going to first go up in a side plank on her elbow. Notice her top leg is in front of her bottom leg, heel to toe. And so that's a nice stable version. She's got a nice stable platform down there at her feet. Uh, now, Sammy, we can uh, come down if you want. Um, put the top foot in back of the bottom foot. And look at that. So where she's gonna come on up again. So what does that do? That just changes the load on those, um, those obliques. Uh, on the right downside of her body, those downside obliques, it just changes the load from the leg being in front of the foot to the leg being in back of the foot. Um, we just got a little bit nice different loading there. I like those different little variations. And she's just holding planks for, you know, eight seconds, uh, 12 seconds, whatever. And she's coming on down. And now we're gonna have her stack her feet. This is what we want. You wanna try to go for stacked feet and that's your minimum base of support, right? It's only one foot length of support. So that's what we want. So now she's gonna come on up and it's a little bit harder to balance here just a touch, uh, but that's your goal to try to get to that point. And once you've gotten to this level, then we're doing pretty good. And come on down, Sammy, take, just take a little rest. So now she's gonna go up, and this is the next variation. She's gonna go on up with her feet stacked. Now, she's going to have her hip go up, 
and she's going to arch over like she's arch over a bowling ball rolling under her, but the bowling ball comes back to you, so she has to wait for the bowling ball to come back, and now the bowling ball has rolled under her towards us, and now she's going to slowly lower that hip, and she's going to just kiss the floor, just kiss it, and then she's going to arch over the next bowling ball, and it goes under her, and now the bowling ball is coming back, and now she's free to go ahead and do a kiss of the floor, and she arches high, and the bowling ball's under. Stay up there, Sammy. And the bowling ball comes back towards us, and now she's free to go another kiss, and then one more way up there. Nice high arch. Whee! And then she's going to come on down, kiss the floor. She's going to come back to neutral, and she's got it. Okay? That's that variation. Go ahead and rest, Sammy. Uh, then there's another variation you can do. She's going to go into another uh, side plank here. And she's, um, and she's had that hand behind the head, and now she's, we're going to use it. So that elbow is an egg, and she's going to put the egg in the egg cup. Her lower hand is the egg cup, and that's the egg. And let's just do four of these. So anyway, so these are your uh, regressed side planks that we've progressed, um, and get really good and strong at these. And then once you've got really good and strong at these, then we can go ahead and go into our uh, full expression of our animal crawl pattern, which is a starfish, which is coming up. Starfish side plank. Yes, animal patterns are challenging. Here we go, Sammy. So now Sammy's going to come up with her feet stacked. Look at that. And now she's up on her arm. Straight arm there. And that other arm is up. There we go, look at that, and she raised, and she's a starfish, folks. And we're gonna hold that for about eight seconds. So let's call that six, seven, eight, and release. Come on down, Sammy, rest. We're gonna do that again. So just go along with Sammy if you can. She's gonna come up. That, she's gonna put out her little five starfish arms and legs and heads and whatever they are. And she's gonna hold that for about eight seconds and see her body wobble and a bunch of stuff going on, but she's pretty good at this. She's pretty stable and she's gonna come on down. Ha, ha. Two, we're gonna do, uh, how about four? Four sets of eight seconds. So here's number three, folks, come on up. We're giving you a little breaks in there. And we know there's a big load on that shoulder. That shoulder is stabilizing. It's a compressive force on that ball and socket joint. You're gonna be okay. Um, but you're gonna have to build into it and get that thing toughened up. And that looks really good, Sammy. Come on down. How you doing, folks? This is only one side of the body, isn't it? Oh, wow. Here we go. She's going to come on up again. And we're all going to be starfishes here for about our last eight seconds on this side. And we're getting all sorts of cool stabilizations and activations. And come on down. Congratulations, all you starfish. Now, we're going to turn around, Sammy. So back to camera, follow along, starfish with Sammy, four times eight seconds. Here we go, and so we're seeing if one side is more stable than the other, more shaky than the other, and there we have it. That's about eight seconds. Come on down, quick rest of that shoulder. You can, you know, swing that shoulder out if you want. Otherwise, we're going to come back up, go into our starfish. We raise that top leg. And these should be pretty challenging, folks. And she's going to come on down. I think it's about eight seconds, whatever. Do more if you want, less. <laughs> or don't raise that leg, that top leg. Uh, here you go. So she's going to come on up. And again, uh, you may want to try these if you want to regress them. Don't raise the top leg yet. It's our third set, Sammy. Is that right? It's our third set. Yeah, that's about eight seconds, right, folks? Here we go. Starfish with Sammy. Here we go. Whee! Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And you starfishes are done. Good job.
plank crab walk. Here we go. Sammy's gonna come up into a plank position. And like a little crab that walks to the side, she's gonna walk all the way down to the end of the tan carpet or thereabouts. And she has to figure out how to move those feet along with those hands. Right there, Sammy, that's a good place. And she's gonna walk back. Now, so this is the exercise. This is what's shown in the book. But we're going to add a little bit of extra bonus here. And at the end here, Sammy, I want you to do four nice push-ups here. So from here, Sammy's do four nice push-ups at the end. And that's two, three, four. And those are plank crab walk uh, with push-up. So come on up, Sammy. What we're gonna do now, Sammy, is we're gonna walk across uh, the room the other way so we can see you from the side. And we wanna make sure that she stays in a good plank. We don't want that little tush coming up in the air. We want that thing to stay into a good, tight, uh, protected lumbar. And she's gonna to walk to the side towards the wall. She's gonna do four push-ups for us. So crab walk with Sammy, folks. Here we go. Push-ups with her if you can. Regress it to your knees if you have to. Or if you're like Sam, you can go ahead and just do them full plank. And that's four. Now she's gonna walk back to camera. Four more push-ups. Okay, here we go, Sam, walk back one more time, one more time. And our last four push-ups, folks, hang in there. Hang in with Sammy, hang in there. She's gonna lead you, she's gonna lead you. Four push-ups, here we go. Ha, uh, breathe, breathe, a lot of work now. We should be getting really fatigued. We should be getting fatigued. Ah, uh, work it, ah. Uh. Ah, keep on going. Good, great job, Sammy. Yay! How you feel? Good. <laughs> bunny hops. We are gonna get into a plank, and we're gonna hop like a bunny. So she's gonna hop in in kind of a tight tuck and go on back, Sammy. Let's do it for 16. We know eight's our number, and you can stop at eight, but Sammy's gonna count to herself 16. Uh, why? We like doing a little metabolic interval here. We can really get some cardio going with this nice kind of hoppy metabolic um, action. And it's a precursor to a burpee, isn't it? Look at that. She's also using grips. That makes it a little easier. It puts the uh, hands up a little bit off the floor, a little bit easier to go into that tight tuck. So I hope you're counting. That's 16, Sammy. You got it? Ha, huh. take a little rest. Um, like I said, normally our number is eight, but we're doing 16 because um, you want to get a little bit of metabolic with Sammy here uh, if you want to continue. So uh, for those of you who do not have grips, you don't have to have them. And now she's going to put those aside and she's going to do another 16 rep interval for us and follow along, folks. And uh, yeah, it looks just like part of a burpee, doesn't it? Now, we do do burpees later in the book, but we're getting the body prepped for it. We're getting strong for it and we're getting the um, joints mobile and loosened up and the strength patterns um, because we don't wanna hurt ourselves. So let's build the patterns here, brick by brick from the base all the way up. Looks good, Sammy. And she's breathing. If she's not, she should be. I can hear her kind of breathing over there. Good, and we got it. Two sets of 16, folks. That's very metabolic, good. Gorilla hops. Gorillas go side to side, unlike a bunny. So we're gonna have Sammy come on down and she's gonna keep into a tight tuck and she's going to hop to each side. Keeping a little tighter tuck there, Sammy, even. Yep. And she's hopping side to side, um, almost like a, kind of like a, looks like a gymnastic thing almost, look at that. But she's hopping side to side and we're getting those obliques really activated. She's going to go 16, so follow along, little little gorilla hops there. Um, the more weight you put over those uh, grips of your body weight, the lighter the feet feel back there in the back as she goes back and forth. Okay, so uh, we're going to do it from the side now, Sammy. So if you want to do another set of uh, 16, again, this is metabolic. So this time she's going to ditch the grips. Uh, so again, you don't have to have the grips. 
it's nice to have them, it's nice on the wrist, but we wanna show that you don't have to have them. So minimum equipment, just your body weight. And keep a really tight tuck here, Sammy. And here we go for 16, and it's one. <laughs> two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Yay! Good going, gorillas. Gorilla walk. The gorilla hops prepared us for the gorilla walk. So from a standing position, Sammy's going to reach her hands out to the side, and she's going to swing over like a nice gorilla. Boom! But she's going to stand up for us, and she's going to do it again, and she's going to stand up for us. Look at that. She covered the ground in two. And you got to see how much ground you can cover, and she can do it in two. That's fabulous. Keep on going, Sammy. Gorilla hop with Sammy. She stands up. Boom, she's got it. Let's go over again. And that's probably enough, but for you athletes, and Sammy's one, she's going to keep on going. So if you want to keep on going, you athletes, you gorilla athletes, keep on going. And one more, Sammy, for us. And that should get you pretty gassed. Good. <laughs> Bird dogs. Pretty straightforward. Sammy's going to put out her right leg. Straight. Left arm. Straight. That's called contralateral. Opposite sides. And we're seeing um, how stable the body can be. It's a great way to kind of get the core stabilized as we put this interesting torque through it. And again, if eight's our number, we're going to hold it for eight seconds or maybe a multiple of eight, maybe 16 here, just so you can see it. And you're trying to keep the body as quiet as possible. You don't want to be shaking around too much. See how quiet you can get it. So come on down, Sammy. And let's go the other side. And again, uh, eight's our number, uh, but we're probably going to do 16 on each side here. So just kind of bird dog along with Sammy. And you can see that there's a little even shake going on in her body as her body and uh, her muscles and brain are figuring out how to stabilize the body in this odd, you know, offset loads of her leg being out on one side and her arm being out on the other. And that's a bird dog. Looks good, Sammy. Come on down. That's all we got. Now it's bird dog with target circles. So animal crawl patterns can be challenging, and this is going to be challenging. Uh, target circle has a small inner and a big outer ring. So Sammy's going to put out uh, let's start off with that right leg again, Sammy, and that left arm. She's got to stabilize here. Now we're going to put a dynamic load on her body. So she's going to inscribe uh, with very precise, clean, clean, and she's going one direction. It uh, looks like she's going counterclockwise. So whatever direction you started out with, that's okay. But she's doing, um, let's just do two sets of eight, Sammy. So we'll do one set of eight here. And then we'll do another set of eight going in this direction. So again, she's going counterclockwise. And as soon as she finishes two sets of eight, she's going to stop and she's going to reverse direction. Here she goes. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and two. Keep on going. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. She stops. Now she's going to reverse direction again. And now she's going to inscribe a huge, big target circle around eight times. That's one big up, over, across, out, up, across, down, out, up. And she's inscribing these big muscular outside ring target circles. And if this is too hard for you folks, you want to put that left arm down but the harder version is you making that body stabilize, and now she's reversing direction, folks. Follow along. That's one, two, three, four, a little slower, five, big, six, seven, eight. Got it. Good. You might want to stretch out that hip. Just lean into it uh, like that. Stretch it out. It's going to feel good. It's going to burn. It should be burning. And that was two sets of eight with one set of eight at the end with the big circle. And you can do three sets of eight and as many as you want until you want to get all the burn you want. But those are the inside 
uh, hip rotators we're getting and those glutes. Good stuff here. Other side, Sammy, here we go. So here we go. Bird dog with target circles with Sammy, and here we go. And nice, clean, precise, crisp. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Stop cold. Other direction. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Like a paintbrush, we just painted the inside of that target circle. Now the big outside. And now our paintbrush is that big outside circle. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. She's going to reverse direction. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And there we have it. Bird dog with target circles. Stretch out those deep hip rotators and glutes and all that good stuff. Ugh. Bear hover. Uh, so Sammy is in on all fours like a bear now. We're pretending we're bears. And she's just going to lift those knees up six inches. So let's count that out for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And come down and rest. We'll do four of these, four times eight. Come on up again. And notice how the toes are, you know, that big toe joint is now flexed. And she's kind of on the balls of feet a little bit. And those abs are contracted as she's holding those knees up off the ground, hovered off the ground, a bear hover. Come on down, Sammy. That's two. Let's come on up for number three. And again, it's about eight seconds. Do as many as you want. Stay as up as long as you want. Uh, make it your workout. And that's about eight seconds, right? Okay, number three. And number four. So these are pretty straightforward, pretty simple. But they just, uh, it's a nice ab activation in there. You know, it's a nice contraction. It's really nice. And again, we're stabilizing um, the arms, and we've been on those arms and shoulders a lot, haven't we? Okay, and come on down. Good job. Bear hover, pause out. Boy, these are a lot harder than bear hovers. So she's going to go into a bear hover first. Let's go, you bears. Now, put out that right rear paw. That knee can be bent, just relaxed out there. Now, put out that left front paw. And oh boy, a lot of you are maybe falling over right now. We're going to hold it for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Great job. Okay. Whew. Rest. Rest a little bit, Sammy. All right. If you fell over or couldn't keep it, well, it's a good challenge. Here we go. And we're really testing out that uh, internal stability and that internal strength of that body and core. Here we go. We're going to come up again, you little bears. You're hovering. And now that left rear paw comes out. And the right front paw comes out. And we're holding it for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Congratulations, you bears. Excellent job. Forward and reverse bear crawl. Now we're going to put this thing together in some real action. So Sammy's going to get down on all fours. And she's going to crawl like a little bear going across the room or little field of view here. And then you can do this in your living room. And then she's going to stop. And she's going to reverse. Notice how she's keeping her little bear backside down. We like that. We don't want that bear backside too high up. A bear wouldn't do that. So why would you want to do that? And we like doing this, uh, you know, to kind of mimic something that a, maybe a tactical athlete might have to do. You uh, military, police, firefighters, first responders, mountain rescue, whatever, who knows. But it's good uh, training uh, for a lot of patterns to come. And we're mobilizing all these joints. And Sammy's going back and forth. And I think it's about our fourth time. And that's probably pretty good. And that is bear crawl forward and reverse. Standing stork two-side lunge. 
So Sammy's going to lunge out to the side, and she's going to touch her ankle, touch her ankle, and then she's going to stand up like a stork, whoop, and she's going to go right back into another touch. Let's do 16 of these, Sammy. And she's adding in some nice arms, some action. So looks like that karate movie thing almost, huh? Okay, so follow along. So again, we've been on our wrists a lot. And I'm giving you a break here, uh, practicing your balance and your dynamic stability. And um, notice if you get into a rhythm, it's a lot easier than if you try to just stand and hold that stork static for a long time. But just go into the stork, whoop, and right back into that next side lunge. And uh, just a nice good warm up. Give those wrists a break. Give you a little metabolic interval. And again, we're doing 16 to one side. Uh, if you only want to do eight, because I said that's our number, we can do it. Other side now, Sammy, go right into it. Keep that metabolic interval going. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Last eight. And the uh, arm flap is optional. I like it. That's really a nice touch. Three, why not? And that's four, last four, right? Here we go, folks. Last four, last three, last two, last one. Congratulations, you storks. Nice. Lizard serratus sling push-ups. Here we go, so Sammy gets into a plank position. And she's going to allow the shoulder blades to collapse in. And then she's going to push out, putting an arch in her chest as she pushes away from the carpet. And the shoulder blades collapse in again. So it's just an action of the shoulder blades. They collapse in. And then you push out. And you arch, a hard arch in those pec area. Okay, here we go. We're going to collapse the shoulder blades in. And the shoulder blades are sewn onto our serratus sling. She's going to push out again. And what that's number three for us, right? And then she's going to collapse in again for four. And she's going to push out for four. She's going to collapse in for five. She's going to push out for five. Collapse in for six. Push out for six. Collapse in for seven. Collapse. Push out for seven. Collapse in for eight. And push out for eight, folks. There you have it as your eight. Lizard serratus sling push-ups. Contralateral up dog, down dog. So Sammy's going to get into a, uh, let's say, uh, down dog for us, Sammy. And she's going to walk her hands back, and she's going to touch her right hand to her left foot. See that? And then she walks out a little bit, like a little lobster, and then she's going to go into an up dog. And then she's going to go into another down dog and walk her hands back like a little lobster and touch the opposite hand to opposite foot. And she's going to walk out again for three. And she's going to walk back. Touch another one. Walking out for four. Walking back. So it's contralateral, opposite side. Opposite foot. And it's a nice way, and we're throwing in lobsters because lobsters walk forward and aft and crabs walk side to side. So we can throw another animal in here. And it's an up dog and down dog. So we have lobsters and dogs and it just doesn't make any sense, folks. But we have to come up with names for stuff here. And how are we doing, Sammy? What's our number? Um, I don't know. Is that, not sure. <laughs> we're not sure, folks. So keep on going with Sammy. Let's do two more. How about that? And nice touches. And one more up dog and one more down dog, Sammy. And there we have it, folks. And we are done with animal crawl patterns. Congratulations. Tough routine. <laughs>